Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi Mini. Thanks for joining me for this live stream. I know it was uh, kind of random. I decided I had some time to do it and I've had this library sitting in on my computer for a few months. I promised I would review it. Um, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to do it now. I hope you're, you're doing well out there. If you're there, say hi and I'll say hi back to you if I if I see your name, and if I could pronounce your name too. Um, this library is called, and I may be mispronouncing this, Corderone Guitar Reveries. Let me switch really quick. This is a guitar sample library by Valiant Samples. The idea is to take two sample sources and give you, um, give you lots of tweakability lots of effects to apply to each of them independently and be able to mix them or fade in and out of them. You can adjust the ADSR, the panning, the volume, cutoff, effect amount. There's lots of different parameters. It comes with 150 presets, beautiful presets. Almost every single one of them was inspiring and, and gorgeous. So. Before I get into the individual samples, let me click on one of the, um, let me play one of the presets. This is from the guitar preset menu. This is simple and clean. such a beautiful sound. So as the name Reverie suggests, this is supposed to be a very dreamlike sample library. Um, it's, you're supposed to achieve dreamlike, atmospheric, ethereal, pad-like sounds on this. And I've heard that riff take me to... <laughs> yeah, um, I forgot what that's from. It's very common, but I know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, before I before I show you some other presets, which it has many great presets, I'm going to show you how it works. So here we have Corderone Guitar Reveries Empty. And you start off with this A and B. Now this is something that I've seen in a lot of native instruments um, sample libraries. They'll have two sounds which you can mix. You can swap out different sounds and just start creating new sounds out of it. It's a very simple but effective system. So if I click on A, this drop down menu will show me all the articulations. I'm going to turn off the, the effects here so you can hear it in its clean state. And as you can hear, Hill song, yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. So here's the sustain one sample. A nice guitar sample. There's nothing very interesting about it. Um, I mean, it's a clean guitar sample. This is not made to, to behave like a normal guitar, like let's say Ample Sound or Orange Tree samples or real guitar where they kind of follow the rules of uh, uh, your voicing and your fret and everything like that. It's supposed to just be a raw sample of that articulation. However, there is some legato in there. Uh, 
I'll play some more samples for you. Here is muted short. And then let's see, tremolos. Very beautiful. Let's see mod will. Okay, so the mod will kind of opens up that tremolo. Then I'm not going to go through all of these. Reversed, muted, long. That sounds interesting. Hmm. Reverse sustain. Now by themselves, they don't sound that interesting, but I can hear what, I can imagine in my head what it's going to do later on. Guitar pad one. But of course, this was not meant to be heard just as a raw sample. Granular sustain. Harmonic feedback. Okay, so on the right side, you have your B section, which is basically a copy of the, the uh, A section. However, you can independently alter them. You have your panning. On the B side, I'll put a, a mute. You have your volume. Then the pedal noise is the, the sc string squeak that you hear whenever you change to a different chord. And that's controlled by the sustain pedal, which you can see here below. And then there is the release sample, the sound that your, that your fingers make when they let go of the strings. It's just like a little buzz. Then we have, then it has an ADSR control attack. So uh, if you have it all the way down, you're going to hear the initial sample attack. However, if you raise it up, you're going to hear the sample like towards the middle of it or toward a later part. So you have less of that that um, attack sound or that pick sound. The longer the attack, the the more pad-like it sounds. Decay, how fast the sample starts lowering in volume. Sustain, how long that note is going to hold out. And then release, once you let it go, once you let go of the key, how long is it going to... Uh, how long is it going to sound before it starts dying off? So you're going to make that really long. All right, and then you can sh you can decide where the sample is going to start. So right here it shows the beginning of the sample, and then toward the end you can you can choose that how long the sample is going to be. Right here, we have the cutoff, and all of these are MIDI assignable. So you just right-click them, and if you have a MIDI keyboard or a controller, just turn the knob. Let's see, I can't find mine. MIDI, learn MIDI CC, and then start turning the knob, and it should... Oh. It should start controlling this. I think this one was already set to one. Let me try that one more time. There you go. And this controls the cutoff. I think that's a cutoff. Let me see. Wet. Adjust the amount of delay and reverb. Well, we don't have any reverb on, so that's gonna, not going to do anything. This one is the filter, so that controls the cutoff amount. Saturation. The width, so if you have it in stereo, uh, it's going to control how wide that sound is. And then tremolo. Adjust the depth of the LFO. Okay. 
So here in the effects section, we have A, B on every single parameter, every single type of effect, because again, you can independently adjust it. So here for the A sample, I'll have an EQ. And then if I wanted to adjust for the B sample, I simply click on B and it's going to affect it. So this is a very, very simple setup. And that's, that's the appeal I think this plugin has. Um, the saturation is, is for the entire sound. So all of these that say AB, you have independent effects for those. But these on the right, saturation, stereo, and reverb, that is for the, um, for the entire thing. So it's global. All right, now that you know how that works, I'm not going to create a sound for you. I'm gonna show you some of the presets in here because they are just absolutely gorgeous. All right, here is Simple and Sweet. Now, when you're hearing this, I hope you're not, not thinking, does this sound like a real guitar or not? That's not the point of this. Th this is a brand new instrument and they, they're taking a whole new, whole different approach to creating sound. This is all about sound creation, not recreating a sound, if that makes any sense. So it's not supposed to sound or behave like a real guitar. It's supposed to evoke a certain image in your mind or um, a certain feeling. And I, I think it does a great job at doing that. Okay. Vibrato twang. <laughs> I'm going based off the name. I want to hear it. Chorus Mute. I kind of feel constricted a little bit by the the, the reverb tail. Um, longer reverbs usually make me play a little bit slower. carried away with those those harmonies slow attack As you can see, the attack on this one has been raised up, so it, you lose that little pick at the beginning, and it sounds like it eases into it. I want to hear if it has vibrato. I don't know if that's what this means right here. No, that's more of a tremolo than a vibrato. I think tremolo has to do with the amplitude and vibrato has to do with the pitch. Either way, that's beautiful.
Answer the harmonic. Whoa, this one's weird. Okay, now let's switch to the pads. So that one sounded like it was somewhere in between pads and and guitar because you get that guitar attack. However, I imagine that the pads are going to be a lot more um they're the attack on them is going to be a lot higher. So let's hear that. This is called Summer. And sure enough, the attack on these is a lot higher. I should say a lot slower. So imagine using this for a movie track. Or even for meditation music. That's so beautiful. Wow. I always love it when a virtual instrument makes you feel emotional. I, I don't mean like I want to cry or anything like that. I just mean like it, it just it soothes my soul and it, and it makes me feel feel peace. You know, you, you know that you've made a great instrument when you can do that. Space between spaces, reverse pad. Let's hear the reverse pad. Aren't we lucky that we live in an age where we can create beautiful music like that? I mean, so easily, the sound is just gorgeous. Even playing one note, it's beautiful. Autonal pad. This is gonna be interesting. Yep, just based off of the name alone. There's not even any use playing harmonies with an autonal tonal sound because it it doesn't follow those um it doesn't follow the rules of of harmony or or uh western music theory but it's supposed to make you feel uneasy That doesn't mean I don't love it. It's it, it, it's just a different feeling that it evokes. It's very cool though. Dreaming of clouds.
You can hear that reverb tail still playing. So gorgeous. Mechanical creatures. This should be interesting. So as you can hear, there are so many different types of sound. It's not just ethereal. It's not just beautiful dreamlike pads. There, there are sounds here that explore different textures and make you feel uneasy, make you feel scared, um, relaxed. There are different, different emotions, definitely. Unless you're a sociopath and cannot feel any emotions. All right. Let's explore the keys presets and um, I'll start wrapping this up. Sorry, you couldn't see my keyboard right there. This is this is so simple. I'm I don't know what these are going to sound like. I for, I've forgotten what they're going to sound like, but it's it's easy to play. Okay, I'm playing two notes right here. It's just a minor third. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. All right. So you can use it in a, in a track, a regular song. Um, let's see, no church in the wild. What's this gonna sound like? expect that at all sorry I clipped there volcanic grain spook let's hear spook you know uh, that's a great question I was trying to figure out what the green section meant usually it has information whenever you hover over um, a parameter or, or something like that even the keys should have done my homework, right? So this one seems simple enough that I could figure out by by just using it. Let me see. Whoops. Had some audio audio issues there. Weird. Testing one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm trying to fix this. I'll have to cut that out too. There you go. Sorry about that. I think when I got off the YouTube screen, it, um, OBS got mad and it started messing up my audio. So I'm going to quickly, quickly download the user manual. Let's see if I can see what the green section is. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so the green keys are the lower playable range. The B section or the blue section is the sampled range, and the um, high green section is the or the second green section is the high playable range. So I think what that means is that they sampled the strings on a guitar, a uh, real guitar. E being the lowest string and C being the highest string or a C sharp. I can't tell. And all these lower notes, they had a resample. So let me let me show you really quick. So that's a natural E. Everything below that it's going to be resampled, meaning they, they use the software to tune down, tune down the note. 
obviously a real guitar can't go that low unless it's like a special bass guitar. Right, right. I'm very long-winded in my responses, if you haven't been able to tell. So, so it has guitars, pads, and keys. There's lots of inspiring sounds in here. This is only $79. Uh, I don't know if it's if they're on sale right now. I'll post a link in the description. Um, I really enjoy this library. I think it's very simple. It's not complicated at all, although you can make complex sounds with it. it it's using this very popular style of uh, creating sounds where you layer two different sounds and you tweak their parameters, their envelope, um, the effects, and you create virtually a, a whole new instrument. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Um, I, I haven't had any issues with it as far as bugs or anything like that. It just works the way it's supposed to. And yeah, I think it's great. So I hope I want to know what you think. Leave a comment in, the, in below. Tell me what you thought about this. If you enjoyed this review, please give this video a thumbs up. I know it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, recommending my videos whenever somebody looks up a guitar library, which means that I can continue doing this because I get YouTube revenue. Click on those ads. I know they're annoying. I am sorry. Otherwise, get, get YouTube premium. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And friends, thank you for joining me for this live stream. I'm going to have several before the end of the year. I have a long list of sample libraries that I need to create. The only thing was that I was getting my studio set up. So um, in my bedroom, I'll, I'll, I'll post pictures. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.